honorable teachers, respected audience, and my dear fellow friends. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, everybody? I hope you are fine. I am Naujin Fatima Nova. I am reading Standard 5 of Evros International School. Today, I am going to show you a very, very simple science project that you can also try at home. So, the name of my science project is 3D Hologram Projector. For making this projector, we will need white paper, plastic paper, scale, um, a scotch tape, pen, scissors, and a smartphone. So, at first, we need to cut this white paper in this shape. Okay. Here the length is 9 cm, here it is 1.5 cm and in the middle it is 5.5 cm. And then we need to cut the plastic papers like this. It will be 4 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now with the help of the scotch tape we need to... Um, we need, we need to stick the plastic papers with each other. Let's do it. After doing all these works, our projector will look like this. Now we need to put this projector on the phone. Um, wait, before putting the projector on the phone, there is a work on the phone too. Let's see what that work is. So at first we need to go to YouTube and then go to search. Okay. You just saw it was the hologram. Now these holograms are created by a splitting laser beam into two separate beams using an angled mirror. When the mirror is curved or bended, this is called angled mirror. This then forms an object beam and a reflection beam heading in different directions. Both are reflected off of other angled mirrors. As these two beams come together, the hologram is created. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thank you for your patience. Zazakallahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. YouTube, and then go to search. And then we just need to write all side 3D hologram video. And then search it. Now here is so many videos, just choose one of them. I am choosing this one. So let's put this projector on it. Now let's turn on the video. Okay. Now you will get the best results if you just turn off the lights. So let's turn off the lights. Okay, so now I turned off the lights and let's turn on the video look at this flying butterfly you saw it's flying and that's the projector's result look at this flying creature in the light. It's amazing, right? And that's my projector. Like you can see it from the four sides. It's the most beautiful projector I've ever seen. Okay, now you would have been thinking, how did that actually happen? Let me explain you. 
the effect of the light that you just saw is called the hologram um, it was floating here the effect of the light this was the effect of the light which was floating here you just saw it assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my name is fatima binte mustafa and i am from standard 5 today i am here to present you an experiment named spying on current for this experiment we need battery casing a pair of double a batteries a wireless module three cocodile clips and a meter at first we have to take the batteries and the battery casing then we have to put the batteries in the battery casing and then we have to put the positive clip in bed plus and the negative clip in bed minus and then we have to take a crocodile clip and put it into out plus another in out minus now we have to take another clip and connect with j4 then we have to connect out plus with r and out minus with minus and this is antenna now if the wire has current flowing through it the meter indicator will deflect and by monitoring the ref scale we will easily find out what distance the indicator cover look it works this is how we can detect the presence of electricity Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Maria Muhammad, student of Abbas International School in Standard 5. Today my project name is Sink or Float. And this is really cool sink or float science experiment. Here is what you need. Two eggs, salt, spoon and two glasses filled with water. For the first step, we will put 4 tablespoon salt into one of the glasses. The ocean is made up of salt water, so this glass can represent this ocean. Wait for a moment until the salt is dissolved in the water. Rivers and lakes are made up of fresh water, so this glass can represent the fresh water. Well, can you guys guess which egg will float? So let's see. Slowly and carefully. Wow, looks like the egg is floating in the salt water and sinking in the fresh water. Do you know why does the egg is floating in the salt water and sinking in the fresh water? Salt water has a higher density than the egg, so the egg is float. The egg is sinking in the fresh water because the egg's density is higher than the density of water. I had lots of fun doing this science experiment. Stay home, stay safe. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.